In today's session, we have your typical examination problem. Sale of scrap. Sale of scrap will come under factory. Remember, you will get five lakh twelve thousand five hundred. What is this? This is your raw material consumed. What is your administration overhead like? Your office expenses like your printing and stationery, salary to the workers. Hello everyone. This is your Adesh sir, lecturing with your student first grade college, the Temple of Excellence. So we are in the session five of your topic called accounting. We are in unit three of your cost sheet. What is this accounting and cost sheet? Your subject name is accounting, and your cost sheet is the chapter three, one of the sub topic. Now. So what is the agenda for the day? The agenda for the day is very simple. We'll work out one problem on cost sheet. In the previous session, we worked out syllabus, your pattern, as well as we can call it as your cost sheet format. After the cost sheet format, we worked out one problem on that. Now, so in today's session, we'll work out one more problem. In the previous session. We do not have the concept called your opening as well as closing stocks, but in today's session we have your typical examination problem. The same kind of problem you can expect for your 15 mark. Now, first, as I told you, we will classify like your prime cost. How many types we have? We have four stages like your prime cost, your factory overhead. Selling and distribution overhead, office overhead. We will dis divide later. We'll go for your problem now. So this will be your question. This will be your solution part. First, we'll understand the question. Later, we'll go for the solution. Now, opening stock of raw material. As I told you in the first session, our second year format session. So work in progress will come under uh, your factory. Your finished goods will come under office. Your raw materials will come under prime cost. Similarly, your opening stock of raw material prime cost. Work in progress. Opening stock factory. Finished goods office. All the opening stock they have given raw material, work in progress, as well as your finished goods. Now. Closing stock of raw material prime cost minus working progress closing stock your factory minus finished goods closing stock office overhead minus all the closing stock we are supposed to minus now once you done with this purchase of raw material it comes under prime cost as I told you you have to go for what. You have to go for your factory, like your opening stock of raw material plus purchase of raw material, then less closing stock of raw material. If you have anything like carriage inward, you should include. Now, up to this we have completed, and carriage inward, you know that it comes under prime cost. Now, Sale of scrap. Sale of scrap will come under factory. Remember, we are supposed to deduct. We are supposed to minus. I explained you what is scrap. Whatever wastage you will get at the time of manufacturing, the wastage can be sold to sold as scrap. Or whatever the damaged goods we got, that also we can call it as scrap. Now, it comes under factory. Wages, wages. They have not mentioned direct or indirect. If they have not mentioned anything, we have to consider this as what direct wages. Direct wages will come under prime cost. Direct expenses, prime cost. Administration overhead, office. Work cost is nothing but your factory. Sale of finished goods, your final answer. Sale of finished goods is your Final answer. Your final answer we call it as sale of finished goods. In this, they have not given like depreciation, salary, rent, printing, and stationery. Directly, they have given what is your administration 
cost. They have not given what is your salesman salary, salesman commission, your go down rent, carriage outward, your traveling expenses, everything they have clubbed and they have given as selling and distribution comes under selling and distribution. They have given summary of selling and distribution, summary of office and administration, summary of work also. So it is a easy. So directly we can take and copy. Now, so these are the informations we have. We'll go one by one. First we'll go for prime cost, later factory, later office, and finally we'll go for your selling and distribution. Now, as per this first one, we have direct material. See, what we discussed in the previous slide, we are working on that in this. What are your prime cost? So your prime cost are like one, two, three, four, five. Yes, total we have five things which comes under prime cost, which are those now. Direct material, so we have opening stock of raw material. What is the opening stock of raw material? Yes, 37,500. See, we have taken 37,500. Then, purchase of raw material, 4,90,000. As per this, purchase of raw material in this. Oh, direct material is over. In this, purchase of raw material, 4,90,000. Now, carriage inward. Do we have carriage inward? Yes, we have carriage inward. Now, how much carriage inward? We have 7,500. Add 7,500. Add everything. You will get actual raw material consumed. So, in this what happens? 5,35,000 before your closing stock. Now, 5,35,000 you got by adding everything. For that, what you should minus? Closing stock of raw material. Now, minus 22,500, you will get 512,500. What is this? This is your raw material consumed. For this, you are supposed to add direct wages, direct expenses. I'll go back. Is there any way direct? Yes, purchase is over. Closing is over. Your opening stock over. Yes. Direct expenses we have. We we'll lack direct expenses as well as your wages all put together. We got 8,87,500. Where do we have wages here? See. One more prime cost. Your wages also they have given. We added your wages as well as your direct, the total prime cost you got 8,87,500. Hope any doubt up to this, there is no doubt. As I told you, in the previous session, we did not get calculation like opening and closing. In this, they have mainly concentrated on opening stock as well as closing stock. Now, up to prime cost, we have completed. We have to add the remaining our following expenses to prime cost. I'll copy the same thing in the next slide also. So 8,87,500 is your prime cost. Is your what? Prime cost. For this what you will add? You will add your factory overhead. Now, so we'll go for your question. Have they given anything like factory overhead? No. They have given directly your work cost. What is your work cost? The work cost they have given directly. So it is how much? 1,37,500. So in the previous session, we did a problem in that they were given like works manager's salary, depreciation of machinery, and the rent of factory. Everything was given individually. But in today's session, they have given summary, the sum of factory they have given. Now, we added 1,37,500, you got 10,25,000. Now, do we have scrap? Yes. Scrap has to be added or has to be deducted. It has to be deducted. Why it is deducted? Why? Because scrap is called as income for you. We are whatever we are calculating, everything is expenditure. In the expenditure, if you find anything income, you are supposed to deduct. You are supposed to 
minus. Now, your income 7,500, 10 lakh 25,000 minus 7,500. How, how much you will get? You will get 10 lakh 17,500. Now, your 10 lakh 17,500 is your answer. Up to this, any doubt? No doubt. Now, do we have any opening working progress, closing working progress? Yes. Add opening working progress, less closing working progress. All the opening working progress will be added. All the closing working progress will be deducted. See, your opening working progress, 12,000 add. Closing working progress, 9,000 minus. How did you get this 12 and 9,000? I'll go back to your question. I'll show you that. Your opening working progress, factory. Closing working progress, factory. These two added and as well as deducted. Now, this is done. What is the next part? The next part is you got your work cost. What you got? You got your work cost. Now, once you're done with your work cost, what is the next step, next procedure? You're supposed to go for administration overhead. Now, what is your administration overhead? Like your office expenses, like your printing and stationery, salary to the workers, or not workers, salary of employees, and whatever depreciation for the furnitures are, your postage charges, electricity paid, water bill, water charges, all comes under your administration overhead. But do we have individually here? No. They have given directly what is your total administration cost. Now, administration overhead, they have given 60,000. Total how much you got? Cost of production. Excluding, still we have not done opening stock of finished goods minus closing stock of finished goods. We have not yet done, we'll do it now. Now, for 10 lakh 20,500, we have to deduct at 60,000, your total is 10 lakh 80,500. What is this? This is called cost of production. Now, up to this, any doubt? No doubt. Once you're done with cost of production, what is the next procedure? Add opening stock of finished goods minus closing stock of finished goods. Now, opening stock of finished goods, it is 18,000. Closing stock of finished goods, 13,500. Where do you have this? I'll go back to your question. Opening stock of finished goods. As per the question, yes, you have 18,000. Closing stock of finished goods you have 13,500. Now I'll add it and I'll subtract it. See, 13,000, 18,000 I have added as a opening stock and 13,500 I have deducted, that is closing stock. Any doubt, hopefully, no doubts. Now, up to this we completed. Now, cost of goods sold. So, whatever answer you got, we call it as cost of goods sold. Now, up to this we completed, the next part will be your selling and distribution expenses. Now, selling and distribution expenses they have given directly. As per the question, sale, selling and distribution expenses is 1,25,000. You can take it directly. What is your selling and distribution? 1,25,000. Now, 1,25,000 is your selling and distribution expense. What is your cost? Your cost is 12,10,000. In the previous session, I taught you, you know the cost, you know the selling price, you can find out profit. Yes, what is the formula? The formula is profit is equal to sales minus cost. Now. What is your sales as per this? As per this, your sales is 14,50. Where do you have that sale value? See, in the question, sale of finished goods. Sale of finished goods, they have given 14,50,000. Now, 
Sale is 14,50,000 minus, what is your cost? As per this, you got cost of 12,10,000. 12,10,000. Now see what is your profit? As per this, if you go, you will get around 2,40,000 as profit. 14,50,000 minus 12,10,000. If you calculate, you will get 2,40,000. Now, so what is your profit now? 2 lakh 40. How did you get? This is your balancing figure. Remember, this is what? This is your balancing figure. Hope you understood how to get your profit. So this is all about your today's session. So in this, we have two notes. Which are those notes in this? Mere wages has to be treated as direct wages. As I told you, any additional information is not given. If wages is given, we have to assume it as direct wages. Unless and until they mention it is an indirect wages, we have to consider this as direct wages. Then, production is not given, cost per unit column is not shown. So, in the format, I showed you one more column, cost per unit. But in this problem, cost per unit we have not done. Why the reason is, as per this, the cost per unit, the number of units they have not given. Like in the question paper, they will mention, so the total number of units 1000, total number of units is 5000, or total number of units it comes around, uh, just assume that 1000. Now, if it is 1000, how to calculate cost per unit? Now. How much you have? 18,000. Number of units, how much? 1,000. You have to mention 1,000 units. Now, 18,000 divided by 1,000. How much you will get? You will get around 18. 13,500 divided by 1,000. You will get 13.5. 10 lakh 85,000 divided by 1,000. You will get around 1,085. This will be 1080.5. Everything should be divided by what? 1000. That is the simplest thing. If they ask to prepare cost per unit, whatever the number of units they have given, whatever amounts you have in the last column, you have to divide one by one. So if it is 10 lakh 80,500, 10 lakh 85,500 divided by your 1000 units. Hope you understood. So this is all about your calculation cost per unit. Now, I'll go back to all these slides. If you want, you can take a screenshot. So this is your problem number two. The solution for your problem number two, part one. Solution for your problem number two, part two. Solution for problem number two, part three, as well as last part. So, this is all about your today's session. Now, so hope you understood what we did in today's session. We worked out a problem number two along with the calculation part. Now, so your homework will be what? Your homework is very simple. You are supposed to work out the same problem without seeing the solution. Write down the question and take your sheet and work out the same problem without seeing the answer. Thank you.